In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we put on a collar to stabilize a neck when we think there's been a fracture or damage to any of the ligaments in the spine. This is a really common thing that's done in the hospital and even outside of the hospital before the patient even gets into the ambulance. If you're a healthcare professional, this is a really important video to watch so you know exactly what you're doing. Whether you've been in a road traffic accident or whether you've had some damage to your neck from trampolining, for example, you're going to need a collar around your neck to stabilize your spine until you can get a scan. This video is gonna show you how to fit a collar. Also have made a really fantastic collar that we use at Bart's Health NHS Trust and we're gonna be showing you how an Osser Miami J collar is fitted. So let's go. Our patient is already taped down in blocks and their spine is immobilized. We're going to come in, remove the blocks and tape so that we can fit the collar. Remember that the patient can only see the ceiling, so keep talking to them, otherwise they're going to get really anxious and afraid. Always remember that you need at least two people for initial collar placement. One person to maintain the patient's head and neck in proper alignment, and a second person to fit the collar. Get those blocks off and take any tape off the patient's chin and forehead. Firstly, one person at the head end needs to immobilize the patient's neck. Now we can take the back of the collar and slide it underneath the patient's neck. Tuck the Velcro under so that as soon as it's out on the other side, you can just flick that Velcro out. You're going to need to give it a bit of force because the person who's immobilizing the neck at the top end shouldn't budge at all. These are advanced trauma life support principles. Now you're ready to fix the front piece on. Flare the sides of the front out, and this is the important bit. Slide it up the chest wall and scoop it under the chin. The sides of the collar front should be oriented up, off the trapezius and towards the ears. While holding the front securely, curl the ends snugly against the patient's neck. Apply the hook and the loop strap and secure the opposite side of the collar in the same fashion. Now tighten the straps alternately one at a time to an equal length on both sides. Right at the end there's a flick switch that allows you to lock the collar in place. Now here's a list of things to make sure of before you finish. Make sure the collar extends from the mandible to just below the sternal notch. The chin needs to be centered in the chin support and it shouldn't extend over the edge of the pad or fall inside the collar. Both tabs that you've used to tighten the collar up should be the same length. The lower plastic edge of the collar should not be resting on the patient's clavicles, nor should it be digging in the trapezius. There shouldn't be plastic touching the skin at any point. And that's it. The collar's now fitted and your patient's cervical spine should be completely immobilized. Pat yourself on the back for a job well done. If you've got any more questions about collars, how to fit them or anything like that, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer all your questions. Thanks again to Ossa for sponsoring this video. Do check out their website and I'll see you next time.